हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्जियोमेट्रिक कॉर्स दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ द सॉल्यूशन सीरीज फॉर आईआईटी जैन 2017 सो वी आर हियर विद दिस प्रॉब्लम नंबर 7 ऑफ योर पेपर सो लेट अस हैव अ लुक ऑन दिस क्वेश्चन व्हाट इट सेज लेट f1 f2 g1 g2 बी डिफरेंशिएबल फंक्शंस ऑन r ओके सो दे आर सेइंग दैट दिस दीस फोर फंक्शंस आर डिफरेंशिएबल एंड दे आर making another function capital fx which is equal to the determinant of f1 f2 g1 g2 okay then they are asking us about the derivative of this determinant okay so it is a very easy question totally dependent upon the calculation that you have to do okay and uh, one property i will say one property of the determinant okay that is a very easy property that you have learnt in your intermediate class so let us try to solve this question now what you have so let me use white pen for this just wait a second okay so what you have you have this capital fx function right capital fx is the determinant of f1 f2 g1 g2 right now just use the property of the determinant so what is the meaning of the determinant it you will get this thing right f1 g2 minus f2 g1 this is what you will get now you have to differentiate this this is nothing else this is the product of the two functions okay so this one is the product of the two function this one is also product and their subtraction so if you will differentiate it it's a single variable function so if you will differentiate it let us say with respect to x you are differentiating then what you will get you will get an expression like this right now you have to just apply the product rule on those two and then just write your result so after applying product rule on these two what you will get you will get okay i should write here so f dash of x you will get it to be uh what you will get f1 dash g2 minus g1 f uh 2 dash oh sorry okay after after adding them you will get this g1 f2 dash plus f1 g2 dash minus f2 g1 dash okay a little bit uh, what i have done i have done a little bit shift okay this thing you will get okay these two things you will get from this first term and these two things you will get from what this second term okay now why i have done the, this it is it is it's very important why because now you can write this whole expression in the form of determinant why we have to do that because in your options you have determinants right so therefore you have to do this so the first one will be okay so if you will see the first one is the determinant of f1 dash okay f2 dash uh you can say g1 and g2 right now the second one is the determinant of uh you uh, you can you can write this as uh f1 here firstly okay and then f2 and then you will write g1 dash and g2 dash this is what you are getting right now in your option you will see that no option is like that okay in your option if you will see that no option matches with your answer here so what you have to use you have to use this property that determinant of a a matrix a square matrix okay is equal to determinant of a transpose so apply this property on this determinant so what you will get then you will get f dash x to be f1 dash f2 dash g1 g2 plus okay you will get f1 g1 dash you will get f2 g2 dash okay this is a very small result that you already know okay just a little bit uh, calculation okay so now let me use uh, the black pen again 
So now see, this one is false because it is not matching with your answer. Okay, I will directly mark the correct one. So what you are getting, mm, you are getting this B option as your correct one. Okay, C is incorrect and D is also incorrect. Okay, so this is how you should proceed in your exam. So it's a very easy question. Just two calculations. Okay, it's not a very long calculation. You can do just this calculation in about one or two minutes. Okay, so thank you.